We're going out to the property today, building a shed today. Ten by fourteen metal shed. Hopefully we can build it and look like that. Only a hundred more to go. Welcome back to Raven Willow Farmstead. We need to build this shed now. Winter is here and we need a place to put our stuff. And we have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> this is not going to be a tutorial video, but uh, we thought we'd record it and, and uh, show you kind of the struggle we had with this shed. It was a discount shed. Uh, a lot of the numbers for the different pieces were rubbed off or missing, but we did the best that we could and uh you know we got what we paid for and it, it's done a fantastic job for us but we needed to get a shed so that we could get our stuff out of storage and ready for when we come to move in um we we're paying close to 300 dollars a month in storage from our stuff that finally arrived from alberta and we needed a dry place that it could go to is we downsized from a five bedroom house to a two and a half bedroom house so we had a little bit of extra stuff that needed to go into storage. Where's the other one? Right down there. So we've been working on the shed all morning and afternoon. We got the corners up now. What do you think, honey? Well, we weren't working it on all morning. We didn't need it until like 11 o'clock. Okay, fine. That's fair. But it's looking good. We had to get all the little nitty gritty stuff done, all the the frame pieces, and now the sides are going up. It's gonna be good. We'd like to take a moment to just thank all of our new subscribers. It's amazing to see that so many of you are, are interested in watching our, our life. We're, we're humbled by that. And uh, we're really, encouraged and, and happy to have you guys come along and join us on our adventure. So the instructions for building this shed tell us to put it on a level and solid foundation. And of course, we've built it out of temporary pallets. But knowing that we're going to be moving the shed in the spring, we were okay with this and we did level it before we put up the sidewalls. But being that it wasn't a solid and level foundation, we didn't do ourselves any favors. Uh, there was a lot of situations that we were in where holes just weren't lining up to where the screws should go in and uh, we had to do a lot of uh, stretching and bending to try and get it into the uh, proper hole and make everything fit. I wonder what these middle things are for. How much do you Nope, right there. Puts your finger in. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we got it halfway done with the paneling. That's good. Yeah. The back one is going to be easy. Yeah, the back will be easy. So all the sheet metal overlaps and they're um, just washers and screws into the frame. I'm going to look really good after. I've been just... Uh, I'm putting together a bunch of screws and washers and then Rob screwing them all in. It's pretty cold out here though. It's like minus it's not that cold though. It feels like minus five. <laughs> no, it's like plus one. I don't know. Some of us are used to working outside, some of us aren't. <laughs> well, we're outside here again. We're out of the property. And we still have a lot of work for us to do on the shed. 
Got a lot of snow here in the last couple of days. I've already swept it out once while I was here the day that it was really snowing heavy. And there's still at least three inches of snow I'm gonna sweep out. And then we're gonna get the rest of the walls uh, tightened up with the bolts, screw in the bottom, and probably try and put up the gables. And then we'll see from there if we can get the roof on <laughs> in time. The contractors have been working daily on our house to get it ready for us to move in. But almost a month later, we're still waiting for NB Power to hook the house up to the power grid. So the contractors are kind of limited into what they can do and what they can work on. Uh, but they're doing the best that they can and, and we're hoping that NB Power will be out here before Christmas. But it's getting pretty tight. We were actually starting to get really worried because our lease on our short-term rental in Shediac was up at the end of December and we weren't sure if we'd be able to move into our house or if we'd have to find other accommodations. Someone needs to get in there too, but I don't thing. know how we're going to be ready for next week if the plumber hasn't even gotten in there yet. No. We'll see. Hopefully we can move in soon. At least we've got... Well, the start of the stairway over there. Start of the deck. Yeah, you're working on it. <laughs> Go for it, Kelly. Oh, minus eight, that's it. Feels way colder. Well, we're done here at the property for today. Uh, we'll be back Sunday to finish up the roof. Welcome back to Hello. Crazy. Hey, come back. <laughs> We're back at the property. Back at the property. There's still no uh, hookups from NB Power, but no. that's okay. Maybe this week. We're here with the dogs. Yep. We just went to go visit a local farm and we saw their goats and their pigs. and Got to introduce Fen to a pig, a goat, and some chickens. Yeah. And... Uh, he was actually acting pretty scared, pretty cautious, yep. rather than barking his head off at like an idiot or something at them. So that's good. And now we're back here. We're going to finish the shed and hopefully get the roof on. I said it's a warm day today. Yeah. Plus so three or so. It's supposed to get up to plus six or seven. And then this week we're hopefully going to be, it's December 10th. This week will be plus 15 at some point, Celsius. So all the snow will melt. They're always so happy when they come out here. She's just nuts. <laughs> doing an inspection of the property. Yeah. Doing its guard dog duties. We got the deck all finished.
made, our, well, not our first error, but put the washers on the wrong side. On so one. now we gotta take them all out, put them back in. Ready? Watching the woodpecker. Well, oh, they're like three quarters of the way done. So done for you? I meant the roof. Yeah, we're like 95% done now. Oh, good. Perfect. <laughs> Callie's laying there. Good girl. Actually, four. in to do the middle. Do you need one more on the end here? Um, yeah. roof panel has been completed. Well, it's not completed yet, but still. Well. Half a dozen screws, I gotta go into it yet, but we're getting there. <laughs> we're back again today here at the property, and uh, they finished the deck. Super sunny out. Um, the property looks amazing. Still lots of snow and water down there. It's minus six degrees Celsius. And then once we move in officially, hopefully next week, then we can start painting and making our gardens for the next year. And today I'm just working on uh, the rest of the shed, just the door and putting the little pieces on the top of the roof to secure the edging. And then I've got a load of stuff in the car that I brought out for the shed um, to just kind of store it until we officially move in. While Rob was at work, I came out and finished the doors, put them on, and it looks good. It's all done. It's ready and waiting for all of our stuff. We're really hoping we can move in before Christmas. All we can do now is patiently wait, as the date for move-in is in God's hands now, and we just have to trust that it's going to work out in time. Happy 40th birthday. Oh. <laughs> Saying goodbye 
to our little rental property in Shediac.